This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for a super special video. So yesterday, we got a kind of big announcement that Wizards has been kind of teasing for a while now. We finally learned about Secret Lairs. So today, we're going to talk Secret Lairs, what they are, how much they're actually worth, uh, if it's something you should be interested in, and it's a very unique product. We've never really seen anything exactly like this before. So it is special Secret Lair Video Day. Before we jump into it, start talking about what these are and the cards in them and all that stuff. A quick reminder, if you haven't already, it would be so sweet of you. If you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk secret layers, and maybe the easiest way to do this overview is pull up Wizards article on the topic. All right, so what are secret layers? And this is pretty simple. They are small bundles of cards, ranging essentially from wood card. I mean, I guess slightly more if you count tokens in them, but from uh, one card up to seven cards. And these bundles cost $29.99 to $39.99. Most are $29.99. A couple are $39.99. Uh, so once each day from December, 3rd through December 9th for a 24-hour period, a different one is going on sale. You can see this little chart here. Uh, so December 3rd, for example, Bitter Blossom Dreams on sale. Starts at noon Eastern time, goes for 24 hours. That's it. Then it's done. The good news is, unlike some past Wizards exclusive products, you are guaranteed to get these if you want them, if you order within that 24-hour period. There is no uh, waiting and hoping that your browser doesn't crash and that your credit card's accepted. And some of the hassles we've had with with past Wizards Directs products. So basically, if you want one of these and you order during the 24-hour period, you can get them. You can order up to 10 per person. Also worth mentioning, there's an option on December 2nd, which you can see here, where instead of paying $29.99, $29.99, $29.99, uh, $39.99, for each of those, you could just, on December 2nd, again for a 24-hour period, starting at noon Eastern time, order all seven of them for $200, which is a discount. If you bought them all individually, it would be $230. Ish dollar. So you're saving like 30 bucks if you want all of them. Uh, so that is what these are. The question is, how much are these worth? Are these something you should be interested in? And before we go into the individual bundles, which is what we're going to do in just a second, I should say, we are getting more and more magic products. They are coming out faster and it is going to be important for you as a member of the community to decide what is important to you. Uh, I think we've reached a point where you can't care about every Magic product. There are just too many, and they're not designed for every player. A few years ago, we had, what, a standard set every quarter, so four standard sets a year, maybe one supplemental product, maybe one, like, pre-constructed deck product, like a dual deck, whatever, versus whatever. Back then... You could invest yourself in every product because there was only a few per year. Maybe every couple months there was a product, with most of those being standard sets that were pretty relevant to everyone. Now we've reached a time where we're getting multiple products a month, and with these secret layer drops, which Wizards has also said they're going to keep doing. This isn't just a one-shot thing. Uh, they're going to keep doing different versions of these through 2020. Not the same exact ones. Different cards, different themes, whatever. Uh, but we're reaching the point where we are getting multiple products each month. So you are going to have to determine for yourself what is most important to you what do you care about as a magic player because i don't think most people have the time or the money to invest themselves in every product these days so keep that in mind as you're looking at this you don't need to feel guilty or uh, like you're a bad magic player if some of the drops are just not for you maybe you love them all and you want them all and that's awesome and great and uh, perfect on the other hand if you want one of them and don't care about the rest or if you want none of them and you want to focus on theros beyond death coming out in another month or whatever that's perfectly fine, too. So I think uh, it's going to be important to think through those things as uh, individual community members and as individuals. What is important to you in terms of magic products? Because it's just an overwhelming amount at this point where uh, I don't think Wizards is even intending most players to be invested in every single product because there's just too much. There's so much these days geared for different small niche audiences. So with that in mind, let's talk about these drops and what they contain. So first, as I mentioned before, if you are someone who wants all these, you could just buy them all. Go on 
on the first day, you save yourself having to order seven different types, you get a discount over buying them all individually, so if you are someone who wants every single one of these, definitely recommend that. You are getting a discount, it's 30 bucks savings, and you're saving yourself a lot of time throughout the week not having to order every single day. On the other hand, if you're someone that's going to pick and choose, let's talk about the individual drops. So drop number one, the Bitter Blossom drop, <laughs> is literally a Bitter Blossom. It also comes with four foil tokens. Uh, how you value the foil token is going to be up to you, but really, you're getting a cool promo-looking kind of extended text box version of Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom right now, cheapest version is around 37 bucks for one of the Master Sets editions. You can buy this version from Wizards directly for $29.99. So you're getting a $7 discount, plus you're getting that bonus of the tokens thrown in. So a Bitter Blossom by itself, it's a good value. This is cheaper than you can get a Bitter Blossom on the market right now. So definitely worth keeping in mind if you're someone that either needs Bitter Blossoms because you want to play fairies or tokens in modern or something, or maybe you just want like a cool looking Bitter Blossom. It is a very fair price for a Bitter Blossom. So that's drop number one. Drop number two, a little bit stranger. That is a cycle of promo looking and super sharp looking. Uh, that's one of the things about all these drops is the art is amazing, but super sweet looking snow color covered basic land. So snow covered basics kind of come to prominence in modern thanks to their printing uh, or reprinting and the printing of a bunch of like snow matter stuff in modern horizons. These cards, they're all foil. Some of the drops are foil, some are not. These ones are foil. If you add up one copy each of all the snow covered lands, uh, it's around 50 bucks for the cheapest foil version, the modern horizons foil version. So here you're definitely getting a good deal. You're paying $30. You're getting retail price, $50 ish worth of snow covered foil, basic lands. On the other hand, you're gonna need to want them uh, for it to be worth it. Uh, on the other hand, you're spending $30 on snow covered basic lands, one copy of each. If you wanna have enough to play a deck with, it's a little awkward because you max out at 10, which is not really enough if you're gonna play like a mono black deck or a mono red deck. So that's a little bit strange that they max out the snow covered lands at that point. But if you are someone who is in the market for foil snow covered lands, for your commander deck, for your modern deck, whatever, this is cheaper than going and buying them individually uh, on the open market. So that's worth keeping in mind, although it is kind of a niche market at the same time. Not everyone needs foil snow-covered basic lands, and non-foil snow-covered basic lands are really cheap thanks to Modern Horizons. They are very, very close to being free at this point. So it is an investment. You gotta be someone who's looking to bling out your commander deck, your modern deck, but it's still a good deal, and the promo art is super amazing. Next up, we have a graveyard theme set uh, coming with Life from the Low, Blood Gas, Golgari Thug, all with Sweet New Art, also panoramic art. You can't really see it here, but if you have Golgari Thug on the left, Flight from Bloom in the middle, Blood Gas on the other side, they kind of all merge together to form this panorama. Is this worth it for you to buy? Value-wise, if you get the cheapest version of all these cards, it adds up to around $25. You're paying $30 to get these from Wizards. You are getting super sweet art, and I think that is kind of the question. How much do you value these arts? If you really want this art, and the art is super amazing, then it's going to be worth it to pay a little bit more to get the super sweet art. But from a pure financial perspective, you're paying a little bit more for these than you would pay if you got them on the open market. Then we have one of the most far out versions of all of these drops, which is the Suravision drop. So the Suravision drop, it's literally four copies of Suravision with absurd art. I gotta say, this is some of my favorite art I have ever seen on Magic cards, period. On the other hand, you're kind of paying a premium for the art again. Uh, if you get the cheapest foil copies of Suravisions, and all these are foils, uh, worth mentioning, but if you get the cheapest foil copies of Suravisions, they're around five bucks a piece. So 20 bucks for a playset. You're gonna pay 30 bucks to get these Suravisions. However, I would be tempted to pick up this drop personally just because the art is so insane and I just love the style of art. So, and I think that is a great description of how this product works. Uh, most of them, you're not getting a great value in an absolute sense, where if you were just wanting to get the cheapest version of a card available, you're probably better off buying the cheapest version of a card. On the other hand, if you put some value into the super sweet, super unique art, then it's going to be worth it. And for me, the Suravision one is where I would definitely pay 10 extra dollars compared to buying like 
like the semen vision version promo for five dollars oh my god that awful fnm promo uh but i would much rather spend 10 extra dollars and have this super awesome really unique sort of vision art than buy kind of the horrible art promo version for ten dollars cheaper a play set we also got some goblins a goblin lackey goblin pile driver here we have the theme within the set you can see this kind of like cartoonish uh, i don't even know sort of theme but it's definitely super sweet super unique uh so five different goblins if you add them all together they come up to like 21 dollars. so again very similar to serum visions you are paying maybe a 10 dollar premium compared to buying the cheapest version of these cards but what are you getting for that 10 dollars? you're getting this awesome unique art that is only for sale for 24 hours probably if you're Theoretically, uh, never going to be seen again, so you're getting something very exclusive for the extra $10. Then we have the most valuable of the bunch. Downside, this is one of the two drops that actually cost $40 instead of $30, but you get three super sweet legends. The Ur Dragon, Sliver Overlord, Reaper King. Uh, Sliver Overlord is a big deal here. It's over $30 to uh, pick up a normal copy of it. Reaper King is like $15. Ur Dragon is like $10. All together, that adds up to like $55, so you're spending $40 to get $55 worth of card, and you're getting really cool art. Like, that Reaper King art, super sweet. The Erdragon, awesome. Sliver Overlord, whatever. That's probably my least favorite of the bunch, but it still looks good. Uh, but Erdragon and Reaper King in specific look cool, and these are very playable five color commander so if you're someone who wants to play commander and wants a really cool five color looking commander in the Erdragon dragon or reaper king or silver overlord definitely a decent value here from a financial perspective and you're getting the cool art finally we get some cats and this is one of the weirdest drops of the bunch so the cats we start off with a couple of legends that you can play with your cat commander deck arabo miri weatherlight duelist and now we have some just other commander playable cats quizali slinger is really good artifact destruction regal karakul leonin war leader the big deal here is the art is really cool. If you're a cat lover, you're going to love these cards. On the other hand, the value is not that good. The value, if you added up the cheapest version of these cards, and it is worth mentioning they are foil, a little hard to calculate because some of these cards don't come in foil normally, but adds up to about $12 in value for the non-foil printings when you're going to have to spend $40. For some reason, this is one of the more expensive drops. You do get a couple of foil cat tokens as well, which does add a bit of extra value, but I think the cat one is something you buy because you love the art, you want to play it in your cat commander deck, uh, and you're willing to pay a premium for the really unique, cool, cute cat art. So those are the drops. So is this worth it? I think that's a big question. Should you buy Secret Lair? And I think overall... It adds up to about $215 of value at current prices. You can get it for $200. So technically, you're getting a bit of a discount compared to buying like the cheap normal art printings. It's also worth mentioning that when you buy these drops in paper, you're also going to get a copy of the cards on Magic Online. I don't really put too much value in that. I mean, I've just seen so many promos on Magic Online basically be valueless. So you get value out of them in the sense you'll have a copy you can play on Magic Online, but I would be surprised surprised if, at least for the immediate future, you would be able to sell your Magic Online copies for any meaningful amount of money. Uh, I guess the question is maybe no one redeems them. If, if tons of people buy them for paper, but only a tiny number of people actually redeem them on Magic Online, then it could be different. They could be expensive, especially for something like Bitter Blossom, which is kind of playable. The Dredge cards, which see play and constructed. Uh, like, cats and stuff like that aren't really going to have any value on Magic Online because Magic Online is basically a competitive, like, constructed kind of client. It. Uh, so that's worth mentioning. You also get some sweet sleeves on Magic Arena based on the theme of the drop. Since the cards themselves are out of read at this point, you do get something there, though, in really cool looking sleeves. So that does add a bit of extra value. I think overall, the value is fine. Uh, paying $200 to get all of these in paper on Moto in seven new sets of sleeves on Magic Arena, I think that's a fine deal. If this is a product that interests you, if you care about the cool, unique art, if you think you are going to make use of these cards in commander decks, or I don't know, you're building goblins and legacy or something, or you want to play bitter blossom tokens and bothered, uh, you need snow covered lands for whatever your commander deck. If you're going to use these cards, the value is fine. The art is amazing, but keep in mind that if you don't think you're going to use all these cards, <laughs> then it might be worth it just to buy the individual drops you want. Maybe you're someone who only plays commander. 
Bitter Blossom and the Goblins might not have that much value to you. Surabigids probably doesn't have that much value to you. On the other hand, the Five Color Legends, that's going to have a lot of value to you. The Cats, if you're a Cat Commander player, are going to have a lot of value to you. So maybe you just snag those specific ones. On the other hand, if you're a modern player, maybe you just want Bitter Blossom. And it's not worth spending $40 to get a bunch of cats that you're never going to use. $40 to get the Erdraga that you're never going to use. So maybe you just buy Bitter Blossom. Maybe you buy four of the Bitter Blossom drops. So you get four copies along with a bunch of tokens to actually play Bitter Blossom with the deck. So I think it really depends on how you play as a player. But I think, in general, the value is fine overall. The value is mostly fine on all of them. The best value is the Bitter Blossom one and also the Five Color Legend one. The other ones, they're, they're fine. You're paying a little premium, but you're getting sweet art as a result. And you know you're getting the copies directly from Wizards. Theoretically going to be a good condition. You don't got to deal with buying them from a vendor and having people grade them and so forth. So there is a little bit of value there as well. I think the other question is long term. What do we see happening with these cards? And that I don't really know. On one hand, these are only going for sale for a day. So it's really going to depend on how many people buy them. It's also the holiday season. So people might theoretically have their uh, disposable income tax right now, buying holiday gifts and so forth. So maybe not as many of these sell as they would at another time of the year. And maybe that means two years from now or five years from now, some of these cards are pretty expensive. I would expect that for the immediate future, I don't think this is a product that you're going to be able to buy and then immediately resell for higher value, like we've seen with some of the Mythic editions and so forth. Uh, but long term, it's really going to depend on how many are out there, how many have been purchased. So I think that's worth keeping in mind as well. So all in all, I think my biggest takeaway is we're getting a million Magic products these days. You, as an individual, are going to have to figure out which ones matter to you, because I think we've reached a point where it is impossible to care about and to purchase every product on the market. We have limited disposable income to spend on Magic. We have limited time to invest on keeping up with constant drops, constant products. So you're going to have to figure out what matters to you. How do you play Magic? How do you engage with the game? What do you love about the game? And focus in on the products that support that. What gives you the most joy? Figure that out. Spend your money on that. In Enjoy that as much as you can, and ignore the products that aren't for you. And I think that goes especially for these secret layers, where they're all for different players. Some are for modern players, some are for commander players, some are for tribal casual players, some are for whatever. Uh, so I think that's the most important takeaway from all this. So anyway, that's my secret layers. That's my take on them. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be purchasing secret layers? Which ones are you most excited for? Are you someone who's going to just buy the whole lot? Are you going to pick and choose certain ones? Are you going to ignore them all together and wait for Theros Beyond Death? All of those those are perfectly reasonable and legitimate reactions, depending on how you engage with magic. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.